to think back to having an idea to open a restaurant, taking kids out of jail and teaching them to play with knives and fire, to being laughed at, to be told they weren't talented enough to cook my food, to opening a restaurant listed as one of the top restaurants in Dallas six years later. I don't really know how you put that feeling into words, but I know what it feels like every time we go into a community and start working with young people and watch them see that it's okay to believe in themselves. My name is Chad Hauser. I'm the chef and founder of Cafe Momentum in Dallas, Texas. The juvenile justice industry term to describe the, the young people that we work with is throwaway, which is to say that they've been discarded by an in all combination of home, neighborhood, society. In the state of Texas, uh, almost half of the young people who commit an offense and end up doing time will reoffend within the next several years uh, and go back. Uh, of the over a thousand young people that we worked with, our last recidivism study, our recidivism rate was 15%. Of all the young people that have come through our program in the last 12 months, 0% have been re-adjudicated. Over the course of the 12-month internship, uh, an intern will work their way through every station in the restaurant. So they'll spend time being a dishwasher, prep cook, line cook, busser, server, host, hostess, food runner. What I love most about our program is it allows the young people to define their own success. We have a young lady that just graduated magna cum laude from nursing school. We have a young man that won an award from NASA and is finishing his senior year at the University of Texas at Arlington. We have a whole team of case managers, a staff psychologist. Uh, we even have our own high school that work to build an ecosystem so that we can holistically address the issues and barriers that had previously pushed them on a path to detention. As the pandemic began to sweep into our community and as the reality that, you know, we were going to have to shut down the restaurant began to take hold, you know, the first thing I thought of is just what can we do to provide some layer, some form of support and protection for them. We take pride in telling these kids that we are their family and family doesn't turn their back on family. So shutting down, walking, closing the doors and walking away was not an option for us. It was almost divine intervention that I received an email from a member of the community just asking for advice on how they could go about supporting feeding food insecure students and their families. Within 72 hours, our team re-adapted ourselves, created new departments, and launched an initiative called Momentum Eats and turned the restaurant into a food distribution hub. We were able to provide income for our interns and our entire staff while we made meal kits for Richardson ISD and several other organizations in Dallas to the total of over 350,000 meals over the course of those 14 weeks. <laughs> Just to think that this group of young people who have been deemed throwaway, to see them get recognition for stepping up when their community needed them the most and serving their community was a really, really powerful moment. We built a website called Cafe Momentum Goods and we launched uh, a retail line. Since we've reopened the restaurant, the retail business actually outsells the restaurant. In the fall of 2015, we did a study to figure out how could we create better impact for the young people that we serve. If we could create a space uh, that continued to engage them with programming that they sought out um, when they're not working, then we could inc significantly increase our hours of influence. Our community services center houses our case management team. Our staff psychologist has a private therapy room. In there we have a lounge area for our young people just to, to be able to relax. You know, if they had a rough night, something happened the night before, they can come in before work and just kind of decompress. And then of course there's our school and our classroom. Our model is not only effective, but it truly can and should be the new model for juvenile justice in our country. And we proved that it works. Momentum Advisory Collective is a nationally based organization um, that is focused on scaling the Momentum model. So going into to different communities. And in fact, our, our goal through Momentum Advisory Collective is to build two new programs a year starting this year and ramping up to where we have 30 programs over the next 10 years. When I think about these young people, they deserve a thousand opportunities to fail and get up and start over again because I was given those opportunities, you were given those opportunities, he was given those, she was, everybody's been given those opportunities and except for them. And they deserve those opportunities.
My goal has always been, since before we opened the doors to this restaurant, that I wanted to work myself out of a job in 10 years. If we're successful, then the system changes, and if the system changes, then our work is no longer needed. Thank you.